Good day and welcome to another video. So today we're gonna continue reading Roommates. So let's go read it. Um Okay, so I think it's chapter I would think we're up to chapter seven, so let's go read it next week. The week went on. I continued to work and come back, but it wasn't the same because Felix was there was there and I am so happy he's here. He's there. Here, there. <coughs> I used to just go back from school. How can I not read? <laughs> I made breakfast with Felix and, Felix and I every day. He kept saying I didn't have to, but I insisted. And plus, I love to cook. <clears throat> Felix also continued to invite me to hang out with Mark and Ken. It was fun because I got to learn a lot about the three of them. We still haven't got into anything personal, which was a relief for me because it's hard for me to talk about that stuff. Plus, I don't want to lose these friends. They don't need to know I'm gay. <laughs> okay. If you like something, I don't know, like gay, lesbian, or bisexual, or something, so that I'm not saying you are, but if you are, you know who you are. Um. If you say that to your friends, I'm doing the sign thing. But if you say that to your friends, if they stop being your friend, then that means they want loyalty and want your friends. And so that means they want your loyal friends if you tell them a secret and they end up telling everyone or they stop being your friend. Do you realize they're not, if they tell them something personal, they tell everyone, like. I go through depression. It was really hard for me to get that out to my friends. I told my best friend and I could tell how devastated she was. It may seem my father thought that I was just a drama queen. But I'll tell you the secret. When winter comes around, you know how people wear jumpers because of the cold? I think I'd be wearing it. I jump every day to the ending of winter. Okay. Anyway, let's go. Chapter 8, Friday night. Walk into the apartment. Felix was flipping through channels, looking to see what's on. I walked past him and was about to go down the hall. He stopped me. Hey, hey Ryan. May. I'm recording a video. Said, yes, Alex. Do you like Harry Potter? Yes, I absolutely love Harry Potter. And I was like five or six. Like this whole Harry Potter collection. It was like the first movie on the way to the last movie made back then. I'm just like, oh my god. Yes, I like didn't know Harry Potter, but like I watched them. Like, this is awesome. Ten out of ten. They're really glitchy though because I don't know how they use them. <clears throat> okay, do you like Harry Potter? We asked. I smiled slightly. Yeah, why? I asked. Felix smiled brightly, which made me blush a little. They're gonna play all the movie movies in a row. Do you want do you want to watch with me? Felix asked actually and I said, Yeah, that sounds fun. Felix gave it a little bit and said, Hurry up, my fellow wizards to get and get ready while I conjure up some popcorn. <clears throat> I love his dorkiness. I don't know if it that's a word, drugs. Is that me? And go down the hall and slip into Go down the hall and slip into some sweatpants and come back and Felix was waiting for popcorn to pop, so I went to the living room and sat down on the sofa. I'm sorry, I'm really oh. Oh. Oh, I'm tired. Mm. A few seconds later, Felix comes back with a large bowl of popcorn. I can smell the crispy butter corn balls. <laughs> he sits down beside me. I was looking through his phone. He said, Mark is on a date with Amber and Ken is out of town, so it's just you and me tonight. Even he finished putting his phone in his pocket and smiling. I nodded a little but kept my head down so my hair would hide my blush somewhat. Time skip. We watched the first two movies. There were a few comments from Felix and myself. But other than that, the only sounds were the movie and the popcorn getting picked up and munched on. I 
Oh, sorry, but um, I'll show you what. Sorry, do stuff. I uh, not really, but uh, thought I was thinking, and now I forgot it. <laughs> After a while, I noticed it was getting a bit too warm, so I slipped off, slipped my baggy green hoodie off. I don't like baggy clothes. Not like jump jackets. I don't like baggy jackets. I like them kind of tight. But not too much fabric for me. Like not those winter jackets. Mm, like those really, like those really cozy jackets. But jumpers, if they're really baggy, that's what I like because then you get to like snuggle up. It's so, it's just so warm. And I love it. Uh, okay, and then all of a sudden, Felix grabbed my arm and the popcorn flew over. I gasped. I gasped. He scared me. I had sun flashbacks of. I paused when he grabbed my arm. I flinched and closed my eyes shut. Nothing happened. All I felt was Felix holding my arm. And after a moment, I felt a small drop of water on my arm and rolled down. I opened my eyes. What I saw was not the unusual happy... Usual. Usual happy Felix. Sorry. Felix was crying. He was crying while covering his mouth with his hand, still holding onto my arm. My body slowly becomes less tense. Felix asked, it was a question. It was a question. It also sounded concerned. Why, 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 did, 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 this, Felix, why, 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 did, you, did, do, this, Felix, at three sobs. I was confused for a moment, then looked down at my arm. It was covered in my, ah. Oh, okay, so like when you're taking off your hoodie, you're, you jump. Oh, that, that's bad when you're wearing baggy hoodie. <laughs> baggy hoodies, no, sorry. Baggy jumpers and jackets, like, oh, God. <clears throat> it was covered in many scars, some smaller, some bigger, and thicker covered, thicker and covered my arm. I can't look up at Felix, so while I stared at my scars, I see Felix, it's okay, they're from a long time ago. Please stop crying, friend. I finished desperately. He can desperately, yeah, desperately. He continued to cry, and I wasn't sure what to do. I slowly put my arm away. He continued to cry with his hand down. Felix is okay. I tried to second, ensuring. No, no, no it's no, okay, okay, <laughs> okay. He said, still crying. I said, they're not sure what to do. I never had anyone besides my mom care about me this much. What do I do? I thought to myself, I can't just let him cry. What do people do when someone is crying? Um, what? Mate, do you feel emotions? Well, obviously. I mean, you cut yourself. Sign of distress and sadness. Don't worry, you know. I don't cut. I don't. I don't, but I understand his pain. I don't though because I don't have any long sleeve shirts and all my jumpers are at my nan's and I haven't been there for weeks and I forgot to pack them. <laughs> Why <I> really suck. <clears throat> okay, anyway. When someone is crying, my mum hugs me until I stop crying. Maybe, no. I looked up at him and he's still crying. He looks so ho hopeless like when... I cut those thoughts off. Not now, I think. Sorry. Um, I hope you didn't take this the wrong way, I think. I scoot closer to Felix and put my my arm around him. It was kind of hard since he was somewhat tall to me. Yeah, it's hard. <laughs> but it worked. I could feel him pause for a moment. Then I felt arms go around my torso, warm and protecting. Just sat there, Felix snipped sniffling as he slowly stopped crying and me red faced because of course I was embarrassed. We then pulled away from each other, I couldn't look at Felix so I looked down. Ryan, why did you I mean you don't have to tell me Felix said, but I got him up. I trust you, it's just hard for me to talk about it, I said shaky. I pull I pull a pause came from Felix and then he said something that shocked me. Okay. I know we only been friends for about two weeks, but I care about you. You're a good friend of mine. It kills me to see you where you are in pain. Short pause. I care about you even more than I would say out loud. Oh my god, that's so cute. Sorry. 
they like said with meaning that her armors couldn't fade them there. I looked up at him. I studied his face. He had a slight blush. His eyes were as bright as day. As bright as day. It's beautiful. <laughs> Not really. I don't know. I never really felt lo like I don't know. Never really felt. I don't know how to say it. I don't want to say it. But I've never really felt what that. What, never really seen what that looks like. Literally. Mm, it's weird. No. No, I had a boyfriend, but yeah, it's still. What did I look at? He slight blush. His eyes were by his day, still a little wet, and he had a slight smile, which was full of emotions of caring and understanding. <sighs> I need a breathe more. Right there and then, I knew I fell for him. So. Did you actually fall on him? Oh, uh, so hard, I don't miss her. Oh. Oh, so it didn't hurt you. Okay, because you know love hurts. It hurts. Especially when they fucking cheat on you. But when I couldn't, but I couldn't tell him and that killed me. And the fact I was thinking about the past killed me more. I'm saying, like, I don't know if this is what this story, the story, the plot of the story is, but, um, what do me, what does, are you saying that, so he got abused, like, he had an abusive boyfriend, uh, that's just my theory, like, if you guys thought that too, then, I don't know. Um, just put a thumbs up in the comments, maybe? And then put emoji in the comments, if that works. If it doesn't, then I don't know. Do a smiley face. The old fashioned smiley faces. Okay, past killed me more. I couldn't hold it back anymore. I started bawling my eyes out. Put my head in my hands so Felix wouldn't see my face. After more than more, after no more than a second, I felt those comforting arms around me again, and that calmed me down. He let go and sat there, waiting quietly for me to collect myself. I knew he was waiting for me to tell him. <sighs> I haven't read this at all, so I have no idea. But if I'm correct, I'm gonna do a celebration dance. <laughs> me for me to tell him about my boss. I almost wanted to run out the door to avoid this, but also at the same time wanted to tell Felix. It's a good thing to tell somebody. Anyway. I took in a sh shaky breath and began my past relationship when I lived in Washington. I was... <gasps> oh my god! I guessed it. I got it right. <laughs> yes! My past relationship when I lived in Washington. I was in a, a, a abusive relationship. I stopped for a moment, <clears throat> a moment trying to not stutter. And I actually did not read any of this book for that. I've been literally just like waiting for the right moment to record this. I have not read ahead, I promise you. If I did, I'd be giving so many spoilers. I figured it out. I read lots of chapter pie books and the worst chapter pie book has sex where um the Jack or Mark has been abused in a like, past relationship and like they met um clicked. No. That's how usually some stories go. But yeah, I never read it. I just read a lot of chapter pie and it helps. <laughs> okay. I stopped for a moment trying not to stutter and, and concentrate. I don't know. At first, at first they seemed so nice. They. 
day. <laughs> anyway, at first they seemed so nice, so caring, but it will change soon after. I took in another large breath trying not to cry again. I cared about them so much, I loved them, but they hurt me, and I was scared. But every time they hurt me, I have to they hurt me. Oh God. That's sad. After they hurt me, they immediately after told me they loved me, and I shook my head slightly. I believed them. I believed every lie because I thought they loved me. I was so I trailed off because I could feel tears running down my face, and I couldn't stop shaking. I was still looking down when I felt those arms again surrounding me with comfort. I started to cry harder, and I continued for hours while Felix whispered comforting things to me. Felix, friend. Thank you. Oh, sweet. Why? Why is this so cute? Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna die from cuteness. Oh God, I nearly dropped it. How, how many? Oh, quit. Let's see how many times we got left. Okay. So the 17 chapters, we got up to seven. From to chapter nine. Now, why didn't I just freaking check the chapter? <sighs> Next day, I wake up. Next day in my bed, but didn't remember going to bed last night. He probably fell asleep in his arms. I thought to myself, to my, I thought to myself, to myself for a moment. Oh, that. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. He carried me to bed. Oh, you did came true, buddy. <laughs> my face started to burn like it was on fire. I sat there for a moment trying to collect myself but decided maybe a shower will help. When I got out when I got out of the shower I noticed I didn't grab any clothes to change and so I rubbed the towel around my way. <laughs> I opened the bathroom door and looked over towards the kitchen and noticed a note hanging in the fridge. I walked to a note I walked to the note, it read, Be back in a sec, said Felix with a dorky smile, face at the button. While I was admiring the note, someone came into the apartment, turned around, and was Felix. The door shut behind him, but he stayed in in the front of the door. He just stared at me, but something was off. He looked, he looked sad. He walked over and softly touched my stomach, a whole body covered in goosebumps, and I felt my... You didn't tell me about these scars, Felix said. Oh, oh, did you have a scar on your stomach? You didn't tell me about these scars, Felix said quietly. I was confused for a moment, and this and a little flustered still. I looked down at my admin and the memories all came flowing back. I stared down at the long white scar that started from under the middle of my chest to about an inch from my belly button. That scar was on purpose, not, but not from me, from the doctors that saved my life. Oh my God, did you get stabbed? Oh my God. Oh, I read stories like this a lot of time. Why am I? Why am I saying? Okay. That saved my life when I didn't want to be saved. You tried to kill yourself? That scar was on purpose, but not from me, from the doctors that saved my life. Did you stab yourself? Dude. I was in deep thought when Felix interrupted my thinking. Oh, sorry, I should probably let you get dressed. Go get dressed. Dress. Dress. Felix said awkwardly while blushing. I thought I should say something, but realized I couldn't really talk right now. I, of course, was super embarrassed and could feel the heat in. Heat. Feel the heat in. Um, uh, in. Face crawling all over. Crawling all over. And so I nodded a little and shuffled down the hall to get dressed. I was getting dressed, I couldn't get the fact that Felix was blushing out of my head. No, it's my imagination. I shook it off and went to the hall. He was sitting on the sofa waiting patiently. I sat down next to him and there was a long pause. Thank you, I said. Felix looked at me and said, thank you for listening. I said, looking down and played with, with the helmet. I'm not sure. It means a lot. I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm happy you're in my life. I'm sorry, I'm not good with words. Oh, that was cute though. I said so openly, it was stupid. I looked up, Felix was looking at me with a slight shock in his face, but then it slowly turned into his famous beautiful smile. I'm happier in my life too. I do He's in the half of spell off normal ways. My heart spelled at Felix's words, but 
I suppress the urge to kiss him, and many thoughts are running through my head, but I really feel we're in all good times. Well, not me, all these thoughts won't make me mad. Okay, I think I can tell you, I said really to myself, like, I swallowed like hard and then began. <sighs> I don't need to breathe. Wait, don't read ahead. No reading ahead. <sighs> okay. A long time ago, when I was dating that one person, I started. Well, I was trying to get away from them a few tears for Christmas. They were. They were mad at me. I don't know exact. I don't exactly remember wh why I took. I choked them last word. I stopped for a second to try it together myself. At the time, we lived in the three story. Ah, what? No fair. Okay, anyway. At the time, we lived in the three story house. I swallowed, relieving the moment. Hey, somehow, he somehow got to me got me to run to the roof because I was trying to get away to me. When we, when we got there, I realized I, I trapped myself and managed that the only place I could go was down. I shuddered while silent plant tears flowed down my face. I jumped. I was trying to hold back my tears. I, I jumped because I, I would rather be dead than be with them any longer. I, I suck at acting. That's why it's terrible. I sniffed and wiped out my teeth with my sweater. Give me a second. I stopped for a moment to calm down. The, the doctors told me it wasn't a miracle. I survived, I said. I broke my... Oh! Oh, it's a coincidence you had a three-story house and you ran up all the way to the roof because they tricked you. And then you jumped all the way down a three-story house. That, that, my friend, that is some great talent to survive. <clears throat> I break my most of my ri rid ribs or rids ribs, punctured a lung. Oh, and broke my my arm and like ow ow. <laughs> Can do much for days. Can do. I was in a coma for two weeks. Holy crap. Sorry. I whispered. After I woke up, I found out that my ex was just trying to say I was mentally un unstable. But there was this woman, one nurse who didn't believe him. I continued. She, she came and she checked on me every day. She tried asking me questions, but I was t t too scared. I thought she f found out because she, she found b b bruises shaped like handprints on m m my neck. It's a belly of to get it out. And an investigation was conducted and they went to two prisons and I just don't remember what oh, how, how long I don't remember for how how long I continued. I took a minute to try and collect myself so I don't shudder as much. I moved in with my parents after I was able to leave the hospital I said a lot more fun. Yeah, but after a while, I couldn't stand to eat there. There were, were too many painful memories in that city, so I moved here. I finished. Holy crap! I didn't expect that. I looked up at Felix. He seemed to be processing everything still, but also there were mixed emotions created into his face. Anger, sadness, confusion, much more. Anger, sadness. This guy, sorry. <laughs> Joy. <laughs> Felix hesitated for a moment, then seemed to make up his mind when he asked, Who was them? I was confused for a second and looked back down at my hands. I realized I never told Felix my ex's name or gender. <laughs> You don't have to tell me, he said, interrupting my thoughts. I nodded a little bit, still looking down. Felix hugged me and all the bad thoughts and memories went away. I didn't want to lose Felix ever, so I didn't tell him. Tell him. I didn't tell him I was gay, even though I felt like I should have. But what if he hates me? What if I lose him? If he hates you, if you lose him, he wasn't loyal. I can take any more people leaving me or using me. All of a sudden, Felix finally went off. 
We pulled apart from our embrace. He looked down at his phone and smiled, then looked at me. Wanna go hang out with Mark and Ken for like socks? <laughs> Let's get rid of it. Yay! Or oh, seven more chapters. I think we'll read the seven chapters in this video. We may be able a little a little bit after forty minutes, but if you guys are okay with that. I've known Felix, Mark and Ken for three weeks now, but it feels longer. I know. You know what? Okay, so I've known my best friend, Chan, for at least over seven years now. Over seven years. But it feels like we've been friends for, like, ever since we were born, really. We know so much about each other. It's unbelievable. Like, sisters. I'm, par I'm apparently the doofus of the group. <laughs> Yeah, but it feels like that. I still have feelings for Felix, but I'm scared to tell him. What if he hates me? I wouldn't be able to handle that. I'm fine with us being just friends. Right? Telling things about my past helped me a lot. We're also closer because of it. At least I know I'm gay. <laughs> I just don't know how to tell them. Like, do you just start a conversation and then, oh, by the way, I'm gay? I mean, seriously. Plus, I'm scared of it and our friendship. I don't want to be depressed depressed again. Alone with my thoughts. It's scary. Ryan, I have some business to take. I'll look up for me and my boss is interrupting my thoughts while going out the door. I'm waiting for me to run. For about ten minutes of pure boredom, I walked over to one of the pianos. I played a few keys thinking of where I should play play video. It's been just the song I heard my voice. Oh my god. And then ran fast and that was Mark Ken and Felix. Oh what the <laughs> Uh, they were all staring at me like I just stabbed a person in the face. <laughs> I felt my face heat up. Sorry, I felt my face heat up. Holy shit, that was fucking awesome. I said they were in his foot, I don't know, his arms. You're amazing, Ryan. Why didn't you tell me you could play and sing like that? I feel like I said it. So I, I, I uh, um, is what I could manage. They all left early with each other while I sat there, my face a tomato, looking down at the floor. Why Mark's in making Ken and Felix stop talking? Look, isn't there that job offer at the company, he said? Company or at the gaming company that they all work for? I thought to myself, oh yeah! He said, Charlie, like, right, we need a voice actor and a this for the game, Felix said, seeming like he was remembering. You seriously consider doing it, Mark said, I don't know, I've never played in front of people. On purpose. I said, well, considering, consider, consider, well, consider, plus it would be awesome to work with you. Ah, I could go. So he said, making me blush slightly. you brave. If you do decide you, if you want to, tell us, man. It's open until next week. Ken said, giving me a smile. I know a little bit, and I felt an awkward time. So, um, what time was I said, breaking it before I so in? Mark looked at his watch. Five o'clock, he said. That, that good, that good. It was time to look up, I thought to myself. After I looked up, we made our way to Felix and I's apartment. Sorry, we just showed off. He got out of work early, Felix said to me, while Mark and Ken were in a deep conversation. It's fine, I said, thinking about the job. I'd probably take it. I mean, I don't like singing in front of people. Or they play instruments in front of people. But I... Apparently, really good at the piano. But under that, it's like, um, sort of the music position where, like, you can remix and all that. That's what I'm amazing at. I can sound, make it sound so awesome. I got compliments from my friends. She said it was amazing. It wasn't like that. <clears throat> And that, my friend, was going to be my theme song. Chapter 11, Wednesday night. Felix and I just got back from hanging out at Ken's place. I sat there on the sofa, blood and thought, thinking of if I should take the job off. Well, Felix went to his rooms because he got a course I couldn't ask for his advice. I found a little, a little focusing. Why not take the offer? It's the best opportunity you've ever been offered. It's better pay, plus you'll be able to spend more time with the guys. Even more time with Felix! I sat there for a second longer and made up my mind. I grabbed my cell phone and put in another can't get me. 
It rang a couple of times before I made it to the win. Hello! Sorry, I'm trying to do a voice. <clears throat> Hello, AD Games said. Hello, AD Games said the voice. Uh, hello, I was calling about the job offer I asked. In the music department, correct? Oxman? Um, yes, I said, and shortly. I hear typing on the keyboard and a small sigh from the man. Ah, oh, yes, the auditions are this weekend at 5 pm at the AD Games in the farm and online company building on Third Street. <laughs> oh, God, I wouldn't remember that. I think she is calling me like, um, where? Can I get your full name and your number, please? He said a little too fast. Um, yes, my name is Ryan Terry, and my number is random number, um, 65321, done. <laughs> I said a bit, that's like a fake number. I said a bit nervously. We're typing from the keyboard. All right, thank you for calling, and good luck on, on your additions this weekend. So gonna, thank you, I said as I heard the phone being hung up. I hung up my phone as I was trying to call to go out. So, how am I supposed to audition? I thought to myself. Felix came back into the living room, sitting next to me. I could feel him staring at me. What's wrong? He said, a bit worried. I'm just a bit nervous, I said, about Felix's question. I just called about the job offer they said I have to audition. I said, I was sleep. <laughs> Felix said, I look around him. Son, you'll do great. You sound beautiful. Imagine if you said Andrew's breath. And you also look like. <laughs> yeah, if anyone said like you have a great singing voice or something, and then like they mobile something into your breath, and it's like you're a girl and then a boy, or like it's, you're a boy and it's a girl like saying it, and they mobile something in the breath, just think it could be saying, well, you do look beautiful too, or something like that. <laughs> you know, Phyllis could be thinking that about cry. You know? <laughs> Oh, I'm talking about real life. <laughs> okay, Felix said sincerely. Felix looked down at my hands and puffed. Felix grew cutely like he always does. Thanks, I said still nervously. Don't worry about it. Help me pick out something to watch. Felix said giving me a nudge. I looked over at him and of course he had that giddy smile on his face. <laughs> For a second I thought, I thought, I thought he was a girl. I don't know why. <laughs> Chapter 12, this weekend. I'm standing in line waiting for my my turn to audition. I'm so pretty nervous. At least you might not have to do it in front of an audience. For my turn to audition, I'm still pretty nervous. There's only three people in front of me waiting to go into the recording. Two more people in front of me. Okay, now I'm starting to freak out. Should I bail? I'm bailing. I'm around to leave when Felix walks in. He smiles at me and walks over and says, Sits next to me and I'm just like, hey, you look nice, Felix like said. I know they're looking down at my feet. Dude, you're way better than any of the auditions who have seen so far. So don't be nervous. Who's that? Patting my back in the middle. Um, that helped. That helped. I don't know if I was nervous. I think it was alright. Well, I could not remember. You'll do great. Okay. Felix like said, giving me his giddy smile and a thumbs up. I wave silently and watch him wave. The next person goes and after the dude says, too. So stupid. I was alone in the room with my thoughts, maybe I should be out. No, I can't. I already made it, made it this far, plus it would be awesome if I can get the guys. Felix. Fuck, I need to make up my mind. I've already been to this, there's no turning. There's no backing yet now. Where right else I thought the dude that calls people and came in. Ryan Terry, we're ready for you, he said. I nodded and followed him into the recording, and there were many different instruments, guitars, drums, and they were all pushed towards the back. Well, a single microphone in the middle of the room. Hello, Ryan, said the voice I talked to on the phone. As he said that the man I followed in here left through an open door on the other side of the room. There was a glass window, and behind it was a group of people, including Mark, Ken, and Felix. I put down the microphone because it was too tall for me and said, Hi, because I was fucking staring. I thought, What were you recording? Because I didn't hear this. And the man said, um, I drew a blank for a moment. Shit, I can't believe I forgot what it is. Well, someone was going to sing. I thought to myself, ah, pick a song I meant for you. So I'm going to sing. <laughs> oh, I'll try and sing this with him. Citrus by Shawn Mendes. Mendes? Mendes? I said, I'm trying. All right, whenever you're ready, said the man. I sat down at the piano and moved my computer. I can't believe I picked that song. I listened to that song yesterday and it made me cry because it reminded me now I can't to fix. She was too late. I thought, isn't it sad to sing? I acted like I was by myself so I wouldn't be nervous. But for 
Okay, I finished. Before I knew it, I was finished and I heard coming. Okay, I know Trinity better. I can't remember stitches. Um, tell me in the comments if you remember the first sign of lyrics, maybe then. Okay, I opened my eyes. They were all standing and clapping and Ken was whistling. Woo! <laughs> yes! Ah, I cut my ear. I don't know why, it just hurts now. Yeah. So he gave me a big smile and I was like, I told you, you did great. I smiled away. I felt like I was about to cry. Damn, that's all the fucking emotions. Thank you, Ryan, said the voice. He's like, I, 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 I'll do it in no emotion. Thank you, Ryan, said the voice. I tried. <laughs> I got up and waited, but quickly left before I started to cry. They don't need to see me like that. Especially Felix, who will think less of me. I don't want that. Stop thinking negatives. I think of negatives, and then I end up not having negatives. That's a weird thing. I do. Some negatives that could happen, but the facts are worse. I retain it. I started to go down the hallway before anyone could catch up to me, but soon enough, he really fast. me. Hey, Ryan, Felix yelled. I stopped so he could catch up and wiped my face before he did. You did great, Felix. I was like, thanks. I said, looking down, my face was probably somewhat red. Didn't want him to know. Hey, Felix said, I'm afraid Tony stopped me by grabbing my sweatshirt. Thing. What's the matter? He said, worried. I shook my head while looking down, so it's okay. He said, you don't need to tell me, Felix said. The rest of the walk was silent. I guess Felix was coming home now instead of later. Is he worried about me? No. When we got inside the apartment, I instantly started to cry, started crying. Felix shut the door, came in with me and put his arm around me. He helped me over to the couch and we sat there as I cried and cried. I, can t I can't tell you I said this. Oh, it's okay. I understand. He said this. He pet my hair and held me close. He doesn't understand. I don't want to ruin our friendship, but I want to be... Listen to him, but as we sat there. Dan, I figured out that you can go more pet on my computer. <laughs> I'm sorry, you broke my phone. School, you know. Yay, an update though! It's great to have updates. What are you guys doing? Why are you all wet? I hugged myself to keep cool. There's something wrong with you. Huh? Chapter 13, next week. <clears throat> I got the call that I got the job. So we all celebrated by playing video games all day, joking around, having fun. You know the usual, the next morning was like any other morning. Morning a team, make breakfast, except this time I got to go to work with Felix. The job was fun, I played and sang the songs they gave me, and sometimes I got to even play with the whole band. Of course, I was still a bit nervous, but I got used to it. I was paid better and got to do what I liked. I told my mom all the news and she was proud of me. I'm so happy I met my friends and Felix. I couldn't have done any of this without them. I think it's getting close to the time to tell them the truth. No, oh, you're so cute. No, no, not like that. The story. It's so cute. Cuteness overload. <laughs> we all hung uh, together at Felix and I's apartment. After a while, Mark and Ken lost. It was, it was Felix and I. I wanted to tell them all the, the time, all at the same time, that I was gay. Because I trust them and love them. I know they will understand. I guess I'm really selling Felix. I need to help tell him. I paused the game and Felix turned to me. I need to tell you something. I said, you can tell me anything, Ryan. Felix said, I know a little and was about to tell him. And my friend went off. Oh, my God. <laughs> Do you hate that? Like, sometimes when I'm about to tell, like, um, my... Okay, so my friends from my school will probably not know this, but that's my friends that they don't know about. Or they never will. But I, um, I was telling them something really important. My phone went off. It was a message. I can't remember who it was from. It was a message. I'm going like, really? They would start laughing at me. I'm like, shut up. And so I, I looked at it. Then I got into a conversation with them. I'm like, oh, no, they have to go. Um, I was like talking to them. And, they, and they, they just were laughing at me laughing and laughing and then I started joining in. I was tough. <laughs> I need to tell you something. I really, really, <laughs> sorry. 
You didn't tell me anything about it, said Brian. Felix said, I know that Lynn was about to tell him when my phone went off. Before I could say anything, I sighed an irritation into my phone. Hello, I said, hello, Ryan, in a manly voice. What is this? Who is this? Uh, oh, my God, Alex, confused. Oh, only your boyfriend said the voice. What? Alex, almost in a whisper. Who is it? Actually, Alex didn't answer him because the person on the phone started talking. I just got out of prison yesterday. Isn't that great? He said my heart sank. It was Nate. Okay, it's Nate. It was so close to my uncle Sam going, no. <laughs> the one that ruined my life and nearly killed me. He's still there, he asked. I couldn't answer him. I was stuck with fear. All the horrible memories and emotions are flying back. It's okay. I know you are. I'm, I'm coming to see you soon. Your mum was so nice to tell me where you were and all that. Oh my god, what the hell did he do? I can't wait to see you, Nate said with evil intent in his voice. Bye, he said, and I hung up. I dropped my phone. I felt to see. Good thing I was sitting ready because I knew I would have fallen if I was standing. Are you okay, Felix said. I was looking at the ground. I didn't know what his expression was, but I heard how he felt worried. More than worried. I started to breathe heavily. I didn't know what was going on anymore. The world... The world starts to spin. It always spins. Started to spin. Ryan, what's the matter? Felix asked. I started to cry and breathe heavier. I was terrified. No, more than terrified. Am I fainting or something? Panic attack? I don't know. I fell forward towards Felix. Ryan, he yelled, "Come down, please, Felix!" And I felt him trying to, to trying to help me move. And that's when I, and that's, that's when I passed out. I'm actually having tears from laughing. <laughs> oh, I know that's not like a laughing matter. It's nowhere near a laughing matter. <laughs> but just this, this the PD crime I'm in there. But yet still, if that happens to you guys, hold it immediately. God. You don't want a piece of boyfriend, a girlfriend. <laughs> anyway. I'm crying from laughing and I'm literally sad and emotional. God damn it. <laughs> I get the worst emotions, right? I can't even do freaking anything without either crying or any shit. I will always cry. I've got two more chapters. Got well, three, including this one. Next day. I woke up the next day to a bright white ceiling. I was confused for a moment, but then remembered what happened. Felix must have brought me to the hospital, I thought. I sat up and I was as fast asleep in a chair by my bed. His eyes were red and puffy as if he were crying. Did he cry because I passed out? I thought I stared at him for a little bit until I heard voices outside the hallway and just after a second the door opened. Hey, you're awake, Ken said, excited. Nice to see you're awake, Mark said. When they said that, Felix woke up. He saw me awake and tackled me slash tugged me. He's like, oh, give me with hugs. Kill him. Kill him with hugs. Just do it. Tackle him with hugs. I don't know. <laughs> Thank God. Thank Lucifer. Thank whoever. You're awake. Felix said like he was so happy that he could explode. He asked me for, for a bit longer than got off the bed. We'll, we were all worried, especially Felix. Mark said to him. I blushed a little when he said that. Well, yeah. Ryan's important to me. Just like you guys. Yeah, I don't know. Was he hiding something? <clears throat> There was an awkward silence until Ken cleared his throat. <clears throat> anyway, Mark and I went and got everyone shitty hospital food. I don't know it's shitty. That's what my father told me it was shitty. Ken left, leaving a bag full of to go. Well, full of to go containers. <sighs> what are you doing to the poor ice cream? You're killing them. How is ice cream going to pop that. Where did Pop tell you that? Don't do that. Uh, I see said that. Did the as he said that, the doctor walked in. Oh, Ryan, you're awake. There's someone else here to see you, you said. I was confused. Did my mum find out and come all the way to California? 
I knew she did not have the money for that. I'll be right back. I'll go get some. Do I the medicine? No. I don't want your disgusting melted ice cream. As he said, leaving. The doctor said as he was leaving. Who's coming, Felix? Talks me. I, I don't know. I said, shuddering. We all wait, waited in silence to see who was coming. The door opened. Who came in? And was the last person I wanted to see. Nice to see you, Ryan said in a devilish tone. My heart started to beat fast, and I'm sure I looked like a deer in the headlights. Oh, who is this, Ryan? I asked Felix. I couldn't move. I couldn't breathe. Oh, Ryan. I'm upset you haven't told them about us, said Nate. Nate, look at the... I was like, master. Are you okay? You're trembling, said Mark. Ryan is my boy. Don't put it on there. I'm trying to get a spoon of you. The feet is too grass. It has to grow. My brother is a lunatic. Alright, we're going to. Oh crap, I've got to do this video and then I've got another one. Then I'm going to wash up. Lots of work. Ryan is my boyfriend tonight. We do it with a crazy cream. No, I screamed out of nowhere, making everyone joke. What gives a. Put him over for you. Keep him away, I screamed through myself. And they started coming over and Felix stood in his way, pushing him back. And I cried and cried. Ken ran over to them and pulled Nate, pushed Nate to the ground. I don't, I don't think so, buddy, said Ken, standing in front of Mark. Mark, hurry, press the emergency button. Felix shouted over to Mark. Mark ran over and pressed the emergency button, which was right by my bed. I didn't have, but it was too hysterical to do anything. Right as he pressed it, security office and a couple of nurses came around and got chaos job with Nate punching one of the officers in the face, and then he was pinned to the ground by two other officers. He was handcuffed and dragged out of the hospital room. Ryan, I will have you. You are mine. He screamed as he, as the officers took him away. Mm, crazy. Mm, crazy. No, I want that kind of person. Can I get another chew toy, mate? I was at home once again, but I was dreading this. They know my secret. In the wrong way, too. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to make it happy. Shut up. Okay. He looks over the door and pushed me to come in first. I walked in and sat down on the sofa. Felix sat down beside me, followed by Mark sitting next to him, and Ken sitting in the large recliner chair. Yep. Okay, yeah, I'm back. Sorry, I was talking to my father. Um, sitting next to him and Ken sitting in a larger kind of chair. That's the way to do it, buddy. So, nah. Nope. Sorry. What if they don't accept me? What if they hate me? What if they grow stabbed by me? Will they leave me? Will I be alone again? How am I going to deal with them abandoning me? I can hold it in anymore. If so, hot tears roll down my cold cheeks. I put my hand to my hands, crying silently. Ryan, I heard Felix said quietly. He began to roll my back with his hand. I'm sorry, but why didn't you tell us sooner? <laughs> Felix, did you tell us that bit so long? We can ask quieter than I ever heard him before. That, that's strange. That's strange for Ken. <laughs> I ever heard him before. I watched my face. Oh, crap. I washed my face but kept my head down. I couldn't look at them right now. I'm sorry, I said, Belly. So what's his name? Said, oh, crap. What's his name? Said, Mark. Just a ghost of a voice. That is strange for Mark. I was confused. Oh, crap. I was confused for a moment. They were talking about, oh, my God. They were talking about me being gay. I had to, to ask her. I'm sure you guys don't care to her about what? You being gay? Question? Oh, give me a second. Oh my god. Like I said, I'll be right back. <laughs> 